Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something, I've basically just finished filming a video um, and I used some colours and instead of being wasteful and just wiping the colours off my palette and throwing them in the bin, I'm going to use them again but just do a different video with them. So I've got black, white and silver which is pretty easy to match up to stuff so I'm not going to do another black, white and silver set because I've just done that with them. So I'm going to do this colour which is Blossom as my base colour. It's a beautiful, it help if it was focused, it's this beautiful shade here. I haven't used it for ages to be honest. Um, so it would be nice to get some use out of it. So I'm going to do that as my base colour on all of these nails. And then I am going to do some like slight Valentine's Day nails. I'm going to show you how I find easiest to do love hearts. Um, Because obviously they're going to be popular around this time of year and for the next couple of weeks. So it's nice to be able to do them quick and easily. So I'm just going to wait for my peel off base to completely dry. I think it is, but I just want to give it another couple of minutes just in case. Um... And then I'm going to paint all of these nails with Blossom. I'm going to do two coats of it on all four nails off camera. And then we can get going with the design. This silver that I've got here is Platinum, which is a builder, not a builder, is a gel polish colour from Gel Perfection. And I've mixed it with Tears Beauty Silver Chrome um, because it's beautiful, basically. So... Yeah, that's what I'm using. I think, in fact, I'm actually going to create another gel with this now. I'm just going to pop another blob of the Platinum Gel Polish into this. And then I'm also going to use the Silver Holographic Dust from Tears Beauty to create a different type of silver polish. Just so it is a little bit more different to the last set that I just did. Because obviously the last set that I just filmed will be the last video that was on my channel. And I don't want everything to be too similar. So we'll put a bit of this in just to change it up slightly. Create a different type of... Oh gosh, I just flipped that by accident. Different type of polish. So I'm just going to mix all that together. And make sure that all of that dust is well and truly mixed in. Like so. And then it'll be nice and easy to use when it comes to it. It's very sparkly. Right, I think it's going to be dry now, so I'm just going to paint these off camera quick. Okay, so I've done two coats of the colour on all of my nails. It's a beautiful colour. I mean, look at that. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous shade of pink. Like, I'm not really a pink person, but even I quite like this one. I think it's beautiful. Um, but I haven't got a major amount of time for this video because I do have a client coming in the next like 15 minutes. So I sort of need to do something relatively quick, which I think I've got a plan. So first things first, I'm going to get the silver on first and I'm just going to go ahead and apply my silver and I'm just going to create a random squiggle. I'm going to say random, I mean random, I'm really not putting that much effort in, I'm just just doing it basically, I'm not putting any thought into it, I'm just going to apply it straight away onto every nail without too much thought. I want every nail slightly different, that is the only sort of thing I'm sort of, I'm going with really. using that gel we created with the polish and glitter. It's absolutely stunning, it's so sparkly. So that's what we've got so far. I'm gonna flash cure that just for 20 seconds, well, 15 seconds. Keep that exactly where I want it because I don't want it to move. And then if I mess up anything else, it doesn't matter because that one is stuck. And then I'm going to do alternate. I'm going to do black squiggles on two and white hearts. And then the other two, I'm going to do white squiggles and black hearts to keep them like different. So first things first, I'm going in with the black. I'm just going alongside, not touching it, but alongside that original squiggle. And keeping in with that sort of design. It's 
So that's that one. And then, like I said, I'm going to alternate. So I'm going to do this one next. So I'm just going to apply this to this nail. Like so. Just remove that bit there. And then once I've done that, I'm just going to clean off my brush so I can apply my white. Obviously, I don't want my brush covered in black before I use white. It's not going to work very well. And then I'm going to do the same thing, but on the other two. Super, super quick and easy design, but really effective. Again, just pinky. And then basically, all we're going to do after that is I'm going to cure this. I'm going to flash cure this again. So all those lines stay where they're put. And then we're just going to basically fill in some gaps with some hearts. So all you're going to need for your hearts is like the same sort of liner brushes I've just used, one that comes to a nice point, a nice thin point is usually easiest, um, and dotting tools, um, whatever size hearts you want, basically. So I'm gonna grab this one, because I don't want my hearts to be massive, because I've only got a little space on my nails. Just gonna remove that hair that has come out of nowhere. There we go. So this is what they look like so far. To be honest, I actually like them like this. I think they look really pretty. Um, but we're not leaving them like that because it's boring. So I'm going to put black hearts on the ones with white, like I said. So I'm not doing them straight or anything. I'm just going to plonk them on. So I need two dots. Relatively close together. Nice and even. Like so. And I'm going to do again on the pinky a different angle this time like that and then I'm going to wipe off my dotting tool I'm going to get a bit of black running through the ends of this is what I'm doing with my brush I'm getting the black running through it and twizzling it until all the excess is off my brush and all the bris bristles are together and then I'm just going to go in link up those middle pieces and then we're just going to create the heart shape so we're just creating a straight line from both sides meeting in the middle and then just filling it in basically and there's our heart super super easy and then we're going to do the same thing for this one this one's a bit trickier for me personally just because obviously everyone finds it easiest to paint in a certain direction mine as you can probably tell is not this one but I'm just taking my time going slowly and we'll get there in the end like so so that's those two i'm going to flash cure those 15 seconds as well i'm just going to clean off my brush now because we're going to be using white next and again clean off my dotting tool as well because we're going to be using white on that so they're out of the lamp now we're going to go in with the white just cleaning off my dotting tool picking up the white color And then pop in a white one on the ring finger and index finger. Like so. And then I'm going to do the same technique with my brush. Run it through the white. Keep twizzling it until it comes to a point and there's hardly any product left on it. 
make the dots join in the middle create your lines from both dots and then fill in the space like so something in that, I'm just going to take that out Obviously, do them bigger or smaller, it's completely up to you. There we go, that's what it looks like. Very, very cute. Then I'm going to pop these in for a full cure and then top coat and I'll show you what they look like. I'm not even a pink person, as I've mentioned, but even I am in love with these nails. Um, I hope the heart tutorial was like useful. I just find it the easiest way to do them. And as you can see, they're super, super easy, but still look really cute. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm now going to take these off, which is very sad because I absolutely love them. That silver matches my jumper like perfectly. <laughs> um, but yeah, I absolutely love how these turned out, to be honest with you. Um, let me know whether they're something you'd wear or not. I'm not really an overly like Valentine's Day person, but even I love these, so that's good. But anyway, let's take them off, which is very sad, but it's got to be done. Oh, look at that. That was really satisfying couldn't really have gone any better than that that was brilliant i'm just wiping oil all over this one <laughs> but it's fine we'll get there eventually there we go again another oh almost perfect removal i need to file that that's not that's not peel off base coat oh, this is so satisfying i love it when they come off all in one piece and again perfect so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching as always and i'll be back soon with another video bye